In today's video, we're going to check out the best in-ear headphones in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to listen based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To find out more information about these headphones, you can check out the description below. At number 5, it's the Sennheiser IE800S. The Sennheiser IE800S may be really priced with an outlandish number, but there are some tweaks and upgrades from the original IE800s, which were high-end earphones that were understated and had attention to detail that set them apart. The Sennheiser IE800S follows its footsteps while upgrading and refreshing the original design. The design is not overly similar to the IE800. It has not deviated from the tried and tested design of the tiny tapered earpieces with stubby nozzles and unique to Sennheiser's dual bass exhaust ports at the rear. Unfortunately though, the cable cannot be removed from the earpiece, which has disappointed some buyers who may have expected this as an upgrade. Additionally, the wiring on the new headphones is updated by Sennheiser so it can use the balanced output. Moreover, the cable is also included in the package with 2.5mm TRRS and 4.4mm Pentacon terminations. The box of the unit is made from leather and is a little large. It houses the set of foam ear tips and the balanced cables that I mentioned earlier. The ear tips are very moldable and provide a secure fit and grip that wouldn't fall out very easily, but I wouldn't recommend these for running. When it comes to sound performance, the Sennheiser IE800S refines and updates the sound of its predecessor, mostly the mid-rangers which were lacking some character and energy. The vocals are not pressed down and have plenty of breathing room and add a touch of fullness and musicality, thanks to the excellent dynamics of the drivers. In sub-bass, it's adjusted to not be overbearing and the treble's output is enhanced for detail and sharpness without being uncomfortable. Sennheiser has chosen to iron out or tame the treble and sub-bass region to make it easier to listen to, but still be able to pick up high caliber acoustics. However, without those details, it's lost a bit of its special image that it had always carried. The sound is very close to perfect and will suit most of the listeners, but it lacks character and roughness. If you're a critical listener or even a casual listener that wants to enjoy finer things in life, Sennheiser's IE800S is the perfect in-ear headphone if you can afford it. At number 4, it's the Panasonic RP-TCM125 ErgoFit. The Panasonic RP-TCM125 ErgoFit is the cheapest and most comfortable and a headphone that provides decent sound quality compared to its price. If you're not in the market for high-end or a feature-packed headphone, then you'll find the Panasonic ErgoFit amazing. Providing good bass and decent volume, the ErgoFit makes a case that even cheap tech can be good. To be honest, the headphones look like the type of headphones you buy at a street vendor when you're out traveling and you've lost your own pair, so you need a replacement pair as soon as possible. The Panasonic RP-TCM125 ErgoFit comes available in an interesting color range, colors that are bold and pop. They're really eye-catching, if not anything else. The ear tips are made from a silicon and very squishy and comfortable, and those are attached to the cone-like backs that attach to the main body that is a light see-through plastic. The ErgoFit in-ear headphones come available in three sizes of ear tips, so you can find the most comfortable and snug fitting for your preference. Interestingly, the ear tips also blocked out most of the noise from outside, which is pretty reasonable. The Panasonic RP-TCM125 ErgoFit can be coined as small earbuds with huge bass. Throughout the testing, the lows were very full and powerful in bass-heavy songs. However, the vocals were simply melting away, although this isn't surprising considering the price range. Overall, the bass was pretty decent and put together, but the treble and the mid-range were a little mixed up, although certainly not a hideous sound. Even though they expected that they would be bleeding through the range, it's not as apparent as you would think. They did a nice job of keeping its composure through songs with various tones, but didn't output as many tones as you'd expect from music listening in-ear headphones. Generally, the music listening experience was rather decent and has passed my expectations. To conclude, the Panasonic RP-TCM125 ErgoFit is still the best headphone if you want a cheap unit that'll provide value on the long run, and with its decent audio output, it's a nice backup headphone. At number 3, it's the Jabra Elite Active 65T. Based on buyer's feedback and ratings, and my own experience with these wireless in-ear headphones, I can say they're the best option if you're an active person and want a wireless pair of in-ear headphones. These will be your gym buddy and your running mate for a long time. Definitely an amazing pair of wireless in-ear headphones. 
The Jabra Elite Active 65T is designed by Jabra's award-winning design team that's always provided amazing products that have turned heads with their good looks. They don't disappoint with the Active 65T. The headphones are sleek, minimal and modest. They're not the kind of headphones that seek attention, they keep a low-key vibe and they blend in and are simply flawless. The buds are circular and have a small arm and an extending tip that secures the fit extremely snugly in your ears. The device comes available in multiple colour ranges, some of which are more visible than others. Either way, in every colour, they're a delight. You can easily pack the earbuds into the oval charging case that comes with them, which serves as a safekeeping container as well, because wireless earbuds tend to get lost quite easily. It's actually one of the most comfortable wireless earbuds that I've tried. Everything about the Jabra Elite Active 65T's shape and design just clicks. When it comes to audio performance, these provide EQ presets in the app, which you can also customize to your liking. So you can boost the bass or the treble, choose a preset mode that's suitable for rock or classical music, and all of this is at your fingertips. Battery life on the headphones was pretty good, not very impressive, but good enough. It lasts a total of 15 hours via the charging case, which can store 10 hours on its own. This is good for your runs as you can charge between workouts and if you have an hour long workout each day, it'll last about two weeks per charge. Maybe you can find wireless in-ear headphones that cost less, but the quality of the Jabra Elite Active 65T is non-comparable to other models, and that is without a doubt. At number two, it's the Bose QC20. It's not random that Bose has been on the market for so many years as one of the best brands in the industry. With its quality-minded design, they've never disappointed with their products. The Bose Quiet Comfort 20 is following suit as it provides a quality product at a premium price, but if you can afford it, the Bose QC20 will provide tons of features, comfort and sound quality in return. In the ear, the Bose QC20 looks very similar to the Bose Triport, which has the same monochrome candy stripe cable and general similarities on the earbud design. However, the Bose QC20 has active noise cancellation and packing that into a pair of in-ear headphones is a little difficult. Bose provides a power brick to give juice to the active noise cancellation technology the Bose has interestingly implemented in this device. The power brick gives an interesting first impression. It can be counted as a negative, in fact, as to where you store it, but it's meant to slide into your pocket along with your smartphone. The ear tips are constructed from soft silicon rubber that both get in your ears and grip onto the cartilage that rings around your canal. This means that the earbuds will stay in your ear securely without causing discomfort. After all the hassle with the battery brick and the high price, you could guess that the noise cancellation works properly, and you'd be right. The Bose QC20 is the most effective in-ear noise cancelling earphones that I've ever seen, and the buyers have reported the same experience. It easily cancels motor, wind, crowd, air conditioner, hum, and many other noises, giving you true Bose quality. As for that quality, they're a huge improvement from earlier models, especially in the bass fidelity department, which is superior to any other earphone. The sound is pretty much perfect with decent balance and ironed out edges, providing a smooth overall experience. Bose's Quiet Comfort 20 is one of the best headphones you can buy in the market, although they don't come cheap. If they are in your budget, they're a solid buy. And at number one, it's the One More Quad Driver. One More has come to relevance in recent years with their output of quality sound products, and they've quickly made a name for themselves. The One More Quad Driver, their latest model of in ear headphones, provide amazingly balanced audio and give you a premium feel with their aluminium build. They're not as cheap as their older models, but compared to the competition, they stack on top with value, quality, sound quality, and design. The first impression you get from these in-ear headphones is that they're made with quality materials all round. They have a metallic chassis that protect the four drivers that are located inside. The whole point of having four drivers is that it allows the manufacturer to fine-tune every driver to a frequency, so the sound is cleaner and the experience is richer. The main difference design-wise between the One More Quad Driver and its predecessor, the Triple Driver, was the durable Kevlar-wrapped wire all over and the improved control module with circular tactile buttons that are conveniently spread around. Generally speaking, the One More Quad Driver have a gorgeous industrial design and I will carry them in my commute for the aesthetic aspect alone. The result of the Quad Driver is apparent from the get-go. These are high-res certified, so if you have records or files that you can enjoy the full high-res experience, these are your headphones. It covers an amazing range of up to 40 kilohertz, a sound that is not really comprehensive to the human ear, but makes the sound a little bit roomy. The lows seem to get a little extra attention, but you'll appreciate the punch in your favourite songs. Sometimes it may be overpowering, but it is decent. 
The mids were perfectly balanced and are a little warm for my taste, however they're hard to get this clear mid in that price range. The treble was a little loose which made it more fun and awesome. There was no bleed throughout the ranges and everything sounded amazing. The one more quad driver is a very nice sounding in-ear headphone with perfect aesthetics and amazing sound quality with its powerful lows and sharp highs and balanced mid-range. It'll leave you pleased each and every 